Bitcoin's historic parabolic rise continues, but the question now becomes, are we more due for a rip towards 16 or 20,000, or a plunge deep down into the crypto abyss? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the parabolic action we're seeing right now. <laughs> The volatility has certainly picked up here, with Bitcoin testing nearly the $14,000 region before an epic, epic plunge, a Wekanachi Don Dot, if you will, all the way back down briefly under $12,000. And right now, with the volatility increasing, I really want to explore the possibilities and probabilities of a crash, and on the contrary, the probabilities and possibilities of a rip towards the 16 and $20,000 regions. So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up, all right? So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, ladies and gentlemen, wow, ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan, Bitcoin tested right up to my target level of the 0.618 Fibonacci. We had our little rocket ship drawn here for a potential target zone, right at about 13,500. Now, there was just a little bit of a fake out here. Uh, and what wound up happening is Bitcoin broke through the 0.618 with conviction, with volume, momentum, and then all of a sudden we got the candle of doom here, ladies and gentlemen. Just an absolute uh, a disastrous waterfall in the, the snap of a finger, the blink of an eye, and this wiped out a lot of FOMO traders in here. Now, on the contrary, I did get stopped out here as well, but for large, large profits, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about uh, profits all from my position down here uh, at 10,900, right? Uh, so I got wicked out all in here for very, very juicy profits in here, right? But, uh, you know, unfortunately, many people FOMO'd in up here, and luckily for them, if they if they are still holding on, they're, they're probably close to break even now, but if you use a stop loss anywhere within here or used high leverage, you either got stopped out or liquidated. Savage, heinous and a borderline ludicrous debacle, if you do in fact ask me. And right now, Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to get back on the horse. Took my profits from this trade here. Shout out to my VIPs. You guys know I've been long since 10,908. I also had a nice trade from 9414 and also a beautiful trade from 8417. Let's get this crypto. Right now, I'm examining the trend for the two critical things that I believe could happen, right? As outlined in the introduction, I think we're either going to see a savage crash, a, a, a pop of a bubble, right? Uh, because this, this parabola is essentially the nice technical way to say a bubble, right? When you get parabolic movement, uh, it's a bubble. And bubbles don't have to be a macro bubble. You get little bubbles here as well, right? Like the, this here, micro bubble, this here, micro bubble, et cetera, et cetera. So for me right now, I mean, this is a, this is a bubble at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, whether or not it crashes down right now, that is to be determined. And I want to examine the possibility of that and on the contrary here also examine the possibility of testing upwards so let's go with the the crash first right well for me what I'm going to, to be looking for here is a loss of the support being built right around this region right uh, which is for me at about 12,500 albeit ladies and gentlemen this is a loose area for me right now because of the fact that it's just so many wicks down here but as we can see we have a nice 
range here, a nice range with a lot of candle body closes right along this line. So for me right now, 12,500 is my local support range that I'm looking for Bitcoin to hold if it's going to remain bullish enough here to potentially test back up to this Fibonacci extension at about 30 at 13,500 and then break back up to new highs. If we test back up to this region and fail, right, or fail from where we currently are now, which is a lower high, right, we had our peaks. If we peak here and plunge below the 12,500 level, to me, this would be a lower high and then a lower low off of the resistance. That is not what I want to see. Now, technically, when you look at this, right, the, the degenerates, Kirby, that's not a lower low. We had wicks down here, Kirby. We had wicks. Uh, I'm discrediting these wicks, James. I'm discrediting these wicks, Joe, because the fact of the matter is here is that this was just a bunch of buffoonery, right? Uh, a large market mover took profits at those regions. I mean, dumped a ton of spot BTC, and we had an over-exuberant cascading waterfall of, of liquidations and stop losses that were brought on mostly by FOMOers from up in this region that were just, you know, trying to, to get rich overnight, which never works. Uh, and on the contrary, traders like myself that had stop losses all in here to lock in our profits from our trades down in this region. Let's get this crypto. So naturally, when the market mover decides to dump a large bag, uh, this begins a cascading waterfall from all the things I just outlined. So for me, I'm looking at these candle bodies, which are at 12,500. Now, uh, let's look at the RSI here for our time frame. We still are very uh, overbought right now, but we can see that this hasn't really meant much for Bitcoin lately. So the RSI in the four hour, uh, again, this trend is very bizarre right now in the fact that we're in a parabolic uptrend, right? And right now, for me, the parabola, let's actually go over to a clean chart here. The parabola, for me, looks more so like it's in one of the end phases, more so than the beginning, right? Uh, as we can see here, on Bitcoin's last parabolic rise, we had a lot of areas where we formed these these flags, right? And we had crashes and flags up, crash flag up. We've already had this, right? And we've pretty much had this one time here, one time here. And now if we look at the trajectory of this thing, ladies and gentlemen, this to me looks more like the final leg, right? Uh, and it doesn't have to be, you know, every trend is different. But just as an observation, the trajectory that this is on right now looks to me like this is more so one of the ending uh, rallies here in a parabolic trend before a crocodile tooth down. Now, this doesn't mean that the, that the bull trend has to be over. This just means that we could see the epic correction that we all know, right? In the back of our minds, ladies and gentlemen, we all know that it's it's expected and would be very organic and natural for this to occur, right? Uh, and as I'm recording this stream right now, we seem to be dumping here yet again. Uh, the thing is, is that right now, the volatility in here is likely going to chop around viciously, looking to just punish over leveraged traders and traders trading with too tight of a stop loss. Personally, right now, I am long again in here, ladies and gentlemen, but my stop loss is very loose right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I've kept you guys updated with my trade here as well. Uh, I am in a position in here long that my stop loss is loose because I believe we're going to get a lot of chop in here like we're seeing right now, up, down, up, down. And those playing with a very tight stop loss or a very tight liquidation point are probably going to feel the pain in here. Now, uh, why? Why could this be the area that we see the crash, right? Uh, the reason for me here, guys, is that the 0.618 is the golden Fibonacci. This is, this is the most prominent Fibonacci number per classical technical analysis theory. And the reason that I believe that this has merit, right? I'm not saying this is going to be it, right? Oh, Kirby, so you're saying we're going to crash. Well, I am under the impression that we are going to have a crash or a correction, a pullback, however you want to categorize it at some point in the near future here, right? And for me, this is the golden extension. We've tapped it and we've been rejected very hard. If right now we're not able to create a new higher high, and we continue to get rejected by this Fibonacci right now, just as we did here. Uh, let's zoom in. Look, look where we got rejected on our test up. 
if we continue to get rejected here off the Fibonacci or just slightly above it, but yet to eclipse and move to new higher highs, this to me would be a sign of weakness from the bulls that we cannot get back above this level. And then if we start to create lower lows, which would be for me below that 12,500 level, and then ultimately below this teal box here, uh, you know, under 11,400. This to me, ladies and gentlemen, looks like this could be the spot that we do get the, you know, the infamous crocodile tooth that I've been outlining here on this stream for several weeks at this point. Let's get this crypto. Uh, and if we are to get something like a crocodile tooth, right, this should not crush you unless you FOMO here at the top. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, many people right at the very top here, 13,500, 13,700. Kerbinaccio, what do you think? Long, long? Why would I be going long at 13,700, James, when we just went up to test our point 618 Fibonacci? That's why I had the little rocket ship drawn here as a target, right? As a target that we could see a rejection at that point, not a, a spot that I'm looking to go long at that point until proven that uh, I see momentum has surely taken us past there. But right now, uh, some concerning factors for me here are, are is the sheer trajectory of this parabolic rise, uh, the fact that this looks more so like a classic final parabolic rip before a blow off top into a crocodile tooth retracement, uh, and also that our RSIs now are so overextended, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's actually ridiculous. We are forming somewhat here of a uh, bearish divergence on the one day RSI as well. Uh, and right now for me, uh, it just seems like if there was a rejection point, it's probably going to be this 0.618. Uh, that to me, we also have a confluence zone here. I'm going to draw a rectangle for us all here to see. Uh, and this is an area, let's make this red, of resistance right now until proven otherwise for me. And this ranges to the top of our wick there at about 13,800, uh, you know, all the way down to the low 13,000s. Let's get this crypto. So for me right now, this makes a lot of sense that this could be the top of this parabolic move for the time being, right? If we crocodile down and find support, say somewhere, you know, at 9,000, right? Or, or even somewhere down deep into this vicinity. Uh, this doesn't mean that the trend is over, right? This doesn't mean the bull market has to be over. It could just be that that was too much over exuberance and then we start to build a healthy uptrend again and take this high out, right? Uh, the thing is, guys, is that the ones that get wrecked are the ones that FOMO. You need to have plans. You need to understand high reward, low risk trade setups. You need to understand the, the scenario that you're putting yourself in because Seriously, for me, what when when people I see FOMOing in at these levels, sure they could get lucky and it continues to go up, but where is the value there, right? From a from a trader's perspective, where is the value for me here to go long right at a possible resistance zone that's a target for many traders with positions from much lower in the trend like myself, right? Uh, so the thing is, guys, is that if there was a level here that I would speculate we could see a crocodile tooth formation. Uh, and a retracement for a large correction, it would be where we are at now. And now, on the contrary, I want to discuss the other side here. What about the rip potential up into this region, or potentially even an all-time high, right? So let, let's discuss that, okay? But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. And uh, just so we're all on the same page here, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I'm still speculating on a long from up in here. If my stop loss gets hit, okay, I take a small loss. It's it's literally nothing compared to uh, the gains that I've had from these trades here that I've shown you at 84.17. I went long, took profits at about 11,000. 9414 I went long took profits at about 11,000 and now here took along from 10,908 and took profits all up in this region uh, as I've stated for you guys earlier here all above 12,000 uh, all the way up towards 12,600 and got stopped out here for beautiful, beautiful gains, right guys? You see what I'm talking about here. Just an, an epic amount of sheer uh, profit from these swing trades. Let's get this crypto. So if we do break down 
I, I might be looking to do one of two things. One, uh, short this market down, or two, look to ladder longs and fill up a dollar cost average long position to get this crypto if we crocodile and then crocodile back up. Let's get this crypto. And I will be keeping you all updated in VIP with all of my, my future trade setups here. Uh, if I dollar cost average, I'll keep you up to date with that. If I short, I'll keep you up to date with that. And if I continue to long to the upside, I'll keep you up to date with that as well. Let's get this crypto. Don't be getting wrecked here, ladies and gentlemen. If you FOMO'd in here, I hope you learn your lesson because uh, that's the best way to learn is through experience, right? It's, it's tough, but that's the best way to learn. Let's get this crypto. Now, uh, let's discuss the possibility of us testing up here towards the 0.786 Fibonacci, okay? If we are to break through this red box now, I really do like this box here, and the top of that box for me, let's say is 14,000. If we can break through 14,000 with momentum and volume here, this would be a sheer break of the 0.618, a sheer break of this consolidation range, which could act as resistance from historic price action. And for me, the next target immediately becomes the next Fibonacci extension, which from that breakout point at 14,000 would be another almost 16% move to the upside. Heinous, savage, and a borderline ludicrous inverse debacle, if you do in fact ask me. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, just like this range down here, right, that I was shouting out, I said, ladies and gentlemen, if we do break above 10,000, I believe we could rip to 11, 12, and potentially even 13,000 like a hot knife through butter. And that I made uh, streams all about this, that if we break through 10,000, I thought we could get to 12,000 very, very quickly. And that is exactly what happened to a T. Let's get this crypto. This range for me here is eerily similar to this range down here. Uh, and for me, if we get above 14,000, I'm kind of under the impression here that we might test up to this 0.786 Fibonacci rather quickly, which is hovering right around the $16,000 region. Uh, it doesn't have to happen that way. That's only my hypothesis. Uh, I'm, I'm not your financial advisor. I'll never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Uh, this for me seems just like what we saw down here. And if we are going to continue this parabola, uh, it would make a lot of sense for me, ladies and gentlemen, that we just continue this absolutely heinous near vertical rip before I mean, to me, guys, it, it appears we're going to need a crocodile tooth at some point, a healthy one at that, right? But the higher we go and the quicker we go, the more potential there is for a vicious, vicious sell-off just the same back, right? What goes up very fast can go down very fast. This is just common, uh, you know, trading uh, knowledge to have, right? Is that something that goes up very fast without building much support. Uh, can just plunge equally as fast. So if we do get up to this region, uh, the thing is what's what's kind of unbelievable is that there's not much resistance up to that level, which is a 16% move roughly. And beyond that, if we break this, I mean, where is the resistance in here? There is none really. So the thing for me, guys, is that uh, if we break 14,000, there is certainly merit to test 16,000 in my opinion, and certainly merit to retest an all-time high at almost 20,000. Let's get this crypto. Uh, I don't want to sound like a moon boy. It, it, it feels weird for me to even say it like this, right? It, it feels very weird for me to say it like this. But the whole point is that you see how I'm trading, right? I'm locking in my profits with stop losses here, right? Uh, sure, you get wicked out when things happen, right? Sure, right? I didn't sell the very top here. Oh, Kirby, so you didn't sell the top? Get wrecked, get wrecked. Yeah, get, got wrecked for, you know, immense profits, James. That, if that's getting wrecked, I'll, I'll continue to get wrecked for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22% gains all day long, my friend. Let's get this crypto. Uh, the thing is, is that right now, uh, we do appear to be making longer term strides here on the Google Trends data as well. Uh, the incomplete data here for this week shows that we are looking to be at a relative 20 on the past five year mark, right? Which is higher than our 19 in early May. If we zoom in here on the 30 day, we continue to look very healthy here on an uptrend. If we look at the 90 day, uh, still you know, recently sticking in a higher high and holding right now. And let's quickly go out to the one year. 
uh, and we still on the yearly are putting in actually new highs. All looking good to me there. The fear and greed index at a 95, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely extremely greedy, which also can tie into the fact that maybe this 0.618 is going to be the top and we do get our savage rejection downward. Uh, the thing for me, guys, is that it, it's a double it's a double edged sword right now because in order for the parabola to continue this is all going to need to stay greedy right this is all going to need to remain moving upwards that's the only way the parabola can continue in my opinion although these are generally contrarian indicators for me right now it's a very unique and bizarre situation where if the greed index pulls back I, it's going to be very difficult, in my opinion, for the parabola to continue. It's a very unique situation. Uh, and right now, I'm playing this market very aggressively. Uh, I'm watching the charts 24-7 with an eagle eye, trying my the, to the best of my ability to find high-reward, low-risk trade setups that are going to potentially work out in my favor over and over again. And right now, uh, I've shown you guys, I took that long from 84.17, took that long from 94.14. Uh, took the long from 10,908. I've taken profits on all of those trades right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I've kept you all updated with those trades all along the way. Uh, and right now, I'm looking for even more because like I said, guys, if this is the top of the trend here, you better be ready with a plan to crush this market or you're going to get caught like a deer in the headlights here, right? You must have a plan. Where are we going to find support? Are you going to short? Or are you going to, to try and find areas to long, potentially in these regions? Uh, if we break through here, do you already have a long position that you're going to speculate up? Or are you going to look to ladder shorts up in this region? Are you going to uh, raise your stop loss, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Uh, I'm just trying to point out for you guys how I trade and how I think about these trades. Uh, because you can only learn from experience, right? And like I said, if you FOMO'd in earlier today, well, take it as a lesson learned that uh, it's not always wise to FOMO in. This is why taking educated positions with, an, with a hypothesis and a thesis behind your trades with a plan to succeed is crucial to becoming a successful trader, right? That's just how it works. Uh, so guys, I am going to keep you updated with everything I just said, all those plans that I just said that, that uh, you should be thinking about. I'm thinking about them 24 seven. And as I formulate my strategies, my plans, et cetera, I post it all for you in VIP in real time. As I make my trades, as I uh, plot my strategies, make my entries, take my profits, move my stop losses, et cetera. I post it all for you in VIP. There is no reason to be going to wrecked city right now, ladies and gentlemen, leave wrecked city for average Joe and James at the water cooler. Don't be getting caught like a deer in the headlights here, right? Leave that for FOMO Joe to get caught like a deer in the headlights and get wrecked. Right now, Don Don Carbonaccio is going to continue to play this market aggressively, play it to the best of my ability, and continue to potentially crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. Are you going to be the one that gets crushed, or are you going to be the one that does the crushing? Personally, I prefer to be the one that does the crushing. Let's get this crypto. Today's the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Bitcoin is chopping around with the volatility that I've expected and shouted out from the beginning of this video. And right now I need to get back to my trades, back to my VIPs, and I need to continue to formulate my strategies and my plans to crush this market. I will see you all in VIP right now. I'll keep you updated with my trades in real time, my strategies in real time. I'm ready to crush this market. Are you? Let's get this crypto. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. And if you could, my friends, one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. I'll see you all in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.